now we are starting with the topic corrosion right as you have uh, you as you must have seen certain metals that as you know that they have uh, metals have a specific lux luster in them right but what happens with time you get to see there are certain metals which they just lose their luster right that means due to development or you can see that there is a deposition of certain kind of layer on it right which uh, actually just uh, fade their metallic character so that is due to the corrosion so what is the corrosion corrosion is the eating away of metal article is called as corrosion right and you know that in case of uh, iron it is being given a special name that because it is uh, so much prone to corrosion that it is given uh, it has been given a special name in case of iron that is rusting so rusting is actually corrosion of iron so it is a specific name see corrosion is a word which is used for all metals right but rusting is a word which is which uh, the only uh, you can say denotes the corrosion of the iron so the corrosion in case of iron is called as something the rusting now the, uh, the rusting do not occur as such there are certain conditions which it leads to rusting or there are certain conditions under which the rusting take place so what are those conditions actually the, the rusting take place under the condition the moisture and the air so that means we can say the moist air leads to actually the occurrence of the rusting as uh, similarly the corrosion also do not occur as such there are this uh, you can say there are specific gases or there are specific substances which are present in air and uh, which are specific in the case of specific metals and they leads to just eating away of the metal article that is the corrosion that means there are certain factors which lead to the corrosion corrosion and these factors are different for the different metals as i told you for rusting it is a moist air that just uh, you can say the deposition of the brown colored layer on the iron article right so that is the rust so what is the rusting i'll write in a method uh, this thing the chemical equation see this is the iron article <clears throat> when iron article comes in contact with moisture so it leads to the formation of fe2o3 dot xh2o which is a brown color flaky layer that gets uh, or you can say which is a rust color flaky layer that get deposit on the iron article and that is something the rust so what is rusting it is the corrosion in case of iron what <coughs> what are the conditions which are necessary the moisture and the air or we can say the moist air is necessary condition for the rusting to take place what is the mathematical sorry the chemical equation involved it is fe plus o2 that is the moist air see a, a, a lone oxygen cannot uh, you can say the favor rusting there should be a moisture in air so that means moist air is important for the rusting so it leads to the formation of fe2o3 dot xh2o which indicates the rust and what is the color for the rust that is the brown color layer that just deposit on the iron article so this is the rusting now as you know that rusting actually has a adverse effect on iron it just uh, you can say lowers the property of all kind of properties of the iron so that means we need to prevent rusting and how we can prevent rusting just look at the board see there are many methods by which we can prevent rusting so how we can prevent rusting we can prevent it by or you can say we can just provide it the sacrificial protection we can pro provide it the barrier protection we can provide it uh, or you can say, you say we can use anti rust solutions so these are the methods by which we can just prevent rusting now we'll be discussing these factors one by one now first factor what we i am discussing is the barrier protection what do you mean by the barrier suppose if uh, like you go on a road and there is a barrier what happens that means you are prevented you are just prevented from going so similar in uh, in a similar manner the barrier protection means we'll be using certain kind of barriers which will not allow the moisture to meet with an iron article so what is that barrier protection or what uh, the barriers can be used in that case so barriers which can be used in this case is it can be oiling it can be greasing 
right and uh, it can be by use of paints so all these three things the oiling greasing and the paints they just provide the barrier protection for the iron article that means it do not allow iron to come in contact with the moisture and if they will not come in contact with the moisture how the rusting will take place that means rusting will be prevented by just uh, using this uh, barrier protection method now the second is that we can use anti rust solutions like alkyl phosphates see there are so many solutions like alkyl phosphates which are anti rust solution that means if we'll just apply this anti rust uh, solution on the iron article it will not allow the iron to come in contact with oxygen that means the rusting will be prevented so again we will we'll be just preventing rusting by use of anti rust solutions now the third method is that the sacrificial protection that means we are using certain uh, you can say the substances which are just uh, uh, you can uh, <coughs> which is again not allowing the iron article to come in contact with the oxygen layer so what is this sacrificial protection or what methods are involved in the sacrificial protection they are galvanization tinning and electroplating right and moreover we can also use uh, see the barrier method can also be alloying that means we can just uh, use an alloy of the uh, this thing the iron you know that the iron or alloy of the iron is the steel which uh, you, you can say if we add carbon to the iron it just give rise to the steel different kinds of steel and the steel is resistant to corrosion so that means by alloying also we can just uh, you can say help in uh, you can also make it as a separate point what you do just make it as a separate point that is by alloying so by by alloying also that means by using the alloy of the iron we can just prevent uh, you can say the uh, rusting to take place now coming to the sacrificial protection as i told you there are different methods for the sacrificial one is galvanization other is tinning and other is electroplating so we'll be discussing one by one see galvanization method is something very important what is it suppose i have an iron article galvanization means depositing a thin layer of zinc on the iron article so that means in this case what we are doing we are just uh, on the surface of it we are just depositing a thin layer of zinc like this so this is this red indicates actually the zinc layer now the question must be just striking your mind that the zinc is again a metal so how that means the corrosion of zinc can also take place so how it is protecting uh, the iron article so you should know that that zinc is a self protecting metal what do you mean by self protecting metal that means it has a tendency that it can protect uh, it its own self uh, from the corrosion to occur so see how when this zinc comes in contact with oxygen obviously it is going to come in contact with oxygen and you know that the metal has a great affinity to combine with oxygen as we did in the reaction of metal with oxygen so when the metal with combine with oxygen it will leads to the formation of metal oxide that means it will lead to the formation of zinc oxide obviously the zinc oxide is going to form this zinc oxide what ha happens to this zinc oxide or how it pre prevents the rusting to occur this zinc oxide layer is actually impermeable to the gases that means it do not allow the moisture to pass inside and if the moisture will not pass inside how it will it is going to come in contact with the iron article and if the iron article is not going to come in contact with the oxygen as i've told you it is a necessary condition for the rusting to occur so that means the rusting won't take place so if somebody ask you that what is galvanization so just answer in this way that it is a method in which the zinc layer is just deposited on the iron article so what happens how it protects when zinc comes in contact with oxygen it forms the zinc oxide this layer is actually impermeable to the gases that means it do not allow the oxygen layer to pass into it right so that means it just pre uh, prevent the underlying iron from the rusting so this is something the galvanization similar the second sacrificial method is tinning 
what we do in this we just dip the iron article in a you can say this is a, a solution of the tin and after just dipping into the tin the it gets covered with the tin and again tin uh, just protected from rusting because it do not allow the uh, moisture to pass into it and if the moisture will not pass the it will not combine with iron and there will be no rusting third is the electroplating what we will be doing in this electroplating? In this electroplating, we will be just uh, you can say uh, two metals are there which prevent the rusting of iron by electroplating method. One is copper and one is chromium. That means by the, uh, by the process of electrolysis, we will be depositing the layer of copper on an iron article and when this layer of copper get deposited on an iron article, it prevents it from rusting. This is how again I am just explaining this electroplating one in detail. Just look at the board carefully. 